It's been a long time coming uh, to this moment. Uh, I've been waiting for it for a number of years, and, uh, and I'm ready. Schwarberg backs one in the air. Deep right field. Get out the tape measure. Long gone. The 1 0 to Marte. A swing and a ground ball to short. Russell goes to second one. Cash runner first. Double play. A double play. Cubs lead 4 0, bottom of the ninth. The 2 2. Swing a line drive. Caught by Castro. Cubs win. Goodbye, Pittsburgh. Hello, St. Louis. Hey, everybody, remember that? The one game playoff last year? Well, this year is different, and this is Bases Loaded. I'm Layla Rahimi, and thank you for joining me for another 30 minutes of nothing but baseball as we get you ready for first pitch between the Cubs and the Pirates. We have a special feature on the show comparing this year to last year. A suspicious hot dog vendor was at Wrigley, and we have special guests from the South Side as well but first let's go to pittsburgh and that is where we find our patrick mooney at pnc park mooney kyle hendricks gets the start tonight he has a 137 era over his past 17 games we've discussed his place in the cy young conversation but what about the playoffs how can he sustain this level once the postseason begins Layla, I've asked Joe Madden that question, and his response is, I don't see why not. And I think at this point, you know, Kyle's body of work uh, speaks for itself. And uh, Joe took it you know, a step further today during his pregame media session saying, you know, this isn't a fluke. It's not an accident that you know, Kyle can do this for years to come, not that he's going to win multiple Cy Young Awards or anything like that. But this is someone the Cubs can certainly count on. Uh, it was a big part, you know, kind of one of the bigger weaknesses in this organization of where is the pitching going to come from? How are they going to stabilize this rotation? And Kyle uh, certainly stepped forward uh, as one of those answers. And I think beyond his stuff, I think you look at his poise, his composure um, and that's why you know my expectation is he'll be on the mound uh, for game two uh, at Wrigley Field. It's also a situation where given what say another Cy Young contender did last year and then of course trying to manage his innings and outings after that great second half Jake Arrieta had and then into the postseason is there a similar watch on Hendricks as far as just arm and fatigue? Well, I do think that's the parallel that, you know, Cubs people have been asked about in terms of that second half push. And Kyle's been almost as dominant and you know Jay he just does it you know a very different way he doesn't have you know Jake's uh, you know blow away stuff but he, he knows where the ball is going he can put it where uh, wherever he wants uh, and he has these kind of unpredictable sequences that really don't let uh, that does not allow the hitters uh, to get comfortable so you know you look at you know Hendricks Arietta Lester this is why the Cubs you know feel like things are kind of aligning for them especially when you know, a lot of other NL contenders have, you know, huge question marks uh, throughout their rotation. Now, David Ross had such a big moment last night in his last regular season game at Wrigley. And Patrick, we wanted to ask you, what has it been working with Ross like, I guess, for you as well, just had your working relationship? Well, it's difficult to cover him when the national media surround his locker all the time. There's all these uh, TV cameras uh, wanting to talk to the backup catcher, but uh, I think it really shows, you know, the respect that uh, David Ross has uh, throughout the game, why he'll have his pick of jobs uh, when he retires, whether he wants to come into a broadcast booth or you know, kind of run a dugout uh, someday. Uh, and I think when Jason Hayward shows up and, you know, calls the Cubs and says, I want to take care of uh, David Ross's suite on the road for the entire year and how uh, Anthony Rizzo and Chris Bryant kind of follow him around everywhere certainly that you know shows you know his impact on this team you know how much people love uh, being around him and just from a reporter's perspective you know he's someone you can go up to he's he's seen so much he's played on different teams and kind of rebuilding teams the World Series winners uh, Braves Red Sox he's a huge kind of Dodgers uh, just a great kind of resource where you know I remember with kind of the Andrew Miller rumors popping up just asking uh, him about Andrew Miller and I had you know a list of four or five questions and he gave me like a 90 second soundbite that kind of covered everything and just kind of turned off my record quarter uh, said thanks and put the pen away he's really you know thinks quick on his feet and that's why he has such a you know bright future uh, beyond his uh, playing career Patrick Mooney for the Berg thank you for the time here on bases loaded
All you got to do is look at the overall numbers. The command, the execution of pitches, I thought it was back in 1987. It was Greg Maddox. Clint Hurdle's having a flashback. Back to here and now, the professor is leading all of baseball with a 206 ERA. Hendricks has allowed three or fewer earned runs in each of his last 21 starts. That is the longest streak by any big league pitcher this season. Joe Madden, his manager, and he spoke about the defensive lineup tonight in the bird. Kyle's got another start tonight. Kyle's uh, got something to play for also on an ind individual basis beyond what we're still trying to get our 100th win. Um, so, yeah, I wanted to put the, uh, uh, you know, the varsity infield out there for him, uh, expecting a lot of ground balls. This is a better day to give some outfielders a day off, which we did. And then I'll try to give the other guys days off. I, I mapped out four uh, lineups for the next, for these four days here in Pittsburgh. Um, of course, you could always change it, but I've already mapped it out. So trying to give guys rest, give guys opportunity, check some things out. And so um, I did that this morning. Here's a look at the lineup in Pittsburgh tonight. Chris Coughlin in left. You've got Albert Almora in center. Anthony Rizzo batting third. He is at first base, by the way. He's batting 450 with six home runs and 18 RBI against the Pirates this season. And last week at Wrigley, he had one of his dreams come true, a guest appearance with Kelly Kroll on Beer Money. Check it out. We need you to choose an easier or a hard word. The easier is supposed to give you, in, in most episodes, it would give you $10. The harder one would give you 20 and I know which one you're going for. But if you get it right, you can move on to the bonus one, which is very tricky. This is what we're doing. We're doing a little spelling, and it's going to involve your oh, teammates. If we're going spelling. I'm going easy. <laughs> easy. I'm the worst spell on the team. Easy. <laughs> okay, well, I, this, this reliever would be very disappointed. You can't get Joe Smith's name right. Okay. S M the whole name. Give us the first Can I have and last. The spelling of Joe as well, Anthony. J O E <laughs> Space S M I T H. Well done. Let's go to Rob Strasinski. Oh, okay. he's already calling who the extra hard. No, I don't even need the hard one. Okay. Zestrinsky. Right. Zestris give me the can you give me the pronunciation. Rob <laughs> Zestrisny. And the story behind Rob Zestrisny, if you want the origin to his last name, I did ask him this, and he said apparently there was a great grandfather along the way who switched names with someone on the boat coming over. Z A S T R Y Z N Y. <laughs> That's a bonus. That's a bonus. You get the whole bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. No this way. Just kidding. Just, I mean, this is oh, tremendous. That was okay. Seriously? Yes. I don't even need the life one. No. Oh, nice. Not oh, yet. Give him the middle one. Give him the middle. You got one more. What about Matt Caesar? That would have been oh. your your medium. That would have been your medium one. S C <laughs> Caesar. S Z C C C Z R <laughs> Caesar. And, uh, we should have ended up. I'm sorry. Our, we should have just stuck with Sir Strizny for you. S Z C Z U R. Yes. We won't make you give back a prize though for that, because I don't know what you would choose. <laughs> the goldfish are I definitely know. not going back. Gold star, if anybody can tell me what exactly the dolphin thing was. Hand warmer? I don't know. Joe Madden has a new shirt. Try not to suck Tober. It's kind of like Rocktober, but more basic and essential. We love you, Joe Madden. Now we switch gears and we head back to Chicago and the south side. We go to U.S. Cellular Field next on Bases Loaded. That is where we find MLB.com's Scott Merkin. And Scott, as the regular season comes to a close, Robin Ventura is under contract until the end of the season. So what is the timeline for the White Sox and Ventura regarding his status moving forward? You know, they haven't really said anything yet, and I'll defer to them on when they make the announcement, but I'm guessing it'll be... You know, if not before the end of the season, this final weekend when they host the Twins, it'll be probably that Monday or Tuesday after where they'll make some sort of announcement. And, you know, it's it's, it's kind of unfair to speculate. This is his job. He's, he's doing it for, you know, the next week at least. He, you know, he takes it. He has an approach of going day-to-day, -day, and that's what we're kind of doing right now. But there hasn't been a timeline set. 
but I'm guessing it's not going to go, you know, well into an October before they make a decision one way or the other. Yeah, the ballpark knowledge, not to use the pun, but it is accurate, is helpful. This is also Alexi Ramirez's return to the south side for the first time as an opponent. What was your favorite moment of him as a White Sox, Scott? Well, you know, it's interesting. He People forget that, maybe they don't forget, some people forget that he started uh, as a center fielder, I believe, oh, his first opening day in Cleveland in 08. He was a center fielder. I think that 08 season, the makeup game they had to win against Detroit, he hit a uh, grand slam, uh, you know, and the guy who he hit it off, it's a former Sox pitcher, and he's completely slipping my mind right now. But he hit that grand slam to really give them the victory. It was a game that Freddie Garcia started for the Tigers. And that was probably his biggest moment. He had, he had a great run here, you know, a really uh, great stretch for the White Sox. And he, good sense of humor, too. I remember, you know, he was very close with Jose Contreras, and he was almost kind of like a father figure to him. I remember a couple times during spring training, they'd be going out to stretch, and Alexi would turn to him and say, come on, Grandpa, time to go stretch. So just kind of, a you know, an essential part of this team for a long time. But I think that grand slam in the makeup game that led to the game 163 against the Twins, the blackout game, was probably his biggest moment here. Love it, Scott Merkin. Thank you for joining us here on Bases Loaded. We look forward to your stories and updates during the game. Thank you. Now, did you see this? Red Sox outfielder Andrew Benintendi is only 21 years old, but he's a big fan of Michael Jackson. Did his best impersonation of him Wednesday, and it was such a hit. It got so much play on the internet. But look what happened on Friday. The Red Sox won again, and he decided to do an encore. Nice stuff. Earlier in that same Red Sox Orioles game, Baltimore honored the retiring Big Poppy with his final farewell against the O's. They brought back this video, July 27, 2013. Ortiz going to town on the bullpen phone after being upset with the home plate umpire over the strike zone. Still good stuff. Back to Thursday, the Orioles kept the phone and gave it back to Big Poppy as a present. That's great. As for the game, David Ortiz drove in his last run in Baltimore on a bases loaded walk. He agreed with the strike zone this time around. On deck, it is back to the Cubs and the backup backstop that's seen his popularity rise to the level of maybe even the Beatles. We'll take a look back at Grandpa Rusty's weekend. Spoiler alert. He's in a glass case of emotion. We are the Coors Brewing Company. And our mountain is brewing the world's most refreshing beer. A beer proud enough to wear our name in big, red, scripted letters. That's why we lager, filter, and package cold. Because we believe every climb deserves a refreshing finish. Whatever your mountain, climb on. Your Cubs are chasing history, and CSN is complete postseason coverage. Before every playoff game, get ready with Cap and Holly on Cubs pregame live. Then flip back after the final out for clubhouse reaction and more on Cubs postgame live. Only on CSN Chicago. actually have Xfinity, so weather isn't a problem. Don't get left behind with DirecTV. Xfinity gives you reliable TV service, rain or shine. Sign up today or get started with this great offer. Call or go online today. The Anthony Rizzo Family Foundation and the Bona family have teamed up to knock cancer out of the park. Order your Italian beef the Rizzo way, and Bona will donate to my charity. I'm proud to be working with the Cubs and the Bona family, two Chicago originals. Order it the Rizzo way at your local Bona restaurant. In Chicago, some things just go together, like front porches and blue W's, bricks and ivy, Waveland Avenue and souvenirs, Jake and State Farm. Like home and auto insurance with State Farm, they just go together, and they save you time and money. Just another way we're here to help life go right. Talk to a State Farm agent today. To gear up for a Cubs playoff run, CSN has a gift for you. It's the 12 Days of Cubs, a collection of behind-the-scenes stories on your favorite club. Every night on Sportsnet Central, sponsored by State Farm. Tonight, your Cubs look to continue their second-half surge in the Steel City. It's Anthony Rizzo and the boys in blue. 
against Andrew McCutcheon and his Bucks. Cubs, Pirates, live at 6 on CSN. There you go, my man. Thank Chicago you. owes you a lot. That's 650, please. <laughs> That's 650. This is an easy way to dip. You just take a little bit of the dog, get it between your cheek and gum. job, kid, but you're done, man. Well, Joe, don't take me out. I'm not tired. I can do this. I know you've done a really nice job at that set. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Cubs appreciate it. Man. Thanks, brother. Thanks for one, too. Thank you. Go Cubbies! Oh, it never gets old to see Stephen Colbert trying to sell hot dogs at Wrigley. That was back on September 18th, and you saw Joe Madden take Colbert out when he thought it was time. That's nothing new, but it is an excellent reminder of how good Madden is at finding that exact moment. Maybe there was no better example of that than last night when David Ross was the unlikely hero in the team's win over the Cardinals and his last regular season game at Wrigley. First big league hit for Ross and his first major league run better. Congrats on a phenomenal career. Uh, it, it's been a true pleasure to, to be around you and uh, you know for you to be a part of this team and for me just to learn from you personally. It's been awesome. But he's chugging, <laughs> he's blowing, and he's going. What a person, what a personality. You bring out the best in everybody. Uh, it's just awesome that you bring that every day. And sometimes you go to the even lengths of losing your voice for us and yelling at us to get the best out of us. And it takes something uh, no special in a person to be able to do that. I told him, I said, your little baby saved you, man, by being on the field with you. Otherwise, you'd have, like, really broken down at that point. And once he held his baby, I, I knew that was going to be uh, better for him because uh, David tends to be on the emotional side. But I thought it was great. I thought we did a great job with it. Happy for him. And I'm really proud of the way our players uh, um, spoke of him and their interaction with him. I thought it was great. <laughs> I, I don't even have the words for, for what that means. I mean... You know, the, my teammates to say those things and, and, you know, the warm hugs from the guys and the group of, of guys that we're here with, with, all the way from the front office to the coaching staff. Tell he's trying so hard. Look what he just did. Look what he just did. I, I don't have any left. I got no emotions. Thank you. <laughs> God, I'm such a crybaby. You know, Lester doesn't want to come out of this game. Is Ross, Is coming, Ross out? coming out? Is he going to get oh. Ross one more ovation? How wow. about that? I've never done this before, but I'm taking you out of the game. I'm like, what? And so then I pulled my mask down because everybody started telling me they love me and, and, and the emotion started. And so I'm like I try to get myself together before I walk off the field. And the, I knew the fans were going to start cheering again. And, and um, you know, Davey called me over and made me go over to the, to the boys and lift my mask. I mean, it just, it just overcome with emotion and the way the fans i don't I, I just i'm so appreciative to the to the fans here in chicago for the way they treat me and and embrace me and and these this team and the way they respect me and give me so much credit i don't deserve and um and the coaching staff and front office good good group another congratulations to david ross now you look around the cubs clubhouse and many of the faces are the same from last year's upstar team that won 97 games and clinched a berth in the nlcs but 2016 brought bigger expectations with a World Series or bust mentality. The Cubs have embraced the target en route to being baseball's best team. Our Kelly Kroll dissects how the Cubs turned a preseason predictions into World Series possibility. 
I just see growth. I can continue to see growth um, together with everybody. When you play, when you get to play with the same guys year in and year out, you, you create a, a little bit of camaraderie. You know what the other guys think and how they move, how they may uh, shift. The communication gets better. Uh, everything. I mean, it's just a it's a, it's a it's a maturation process, a growth between uh, the whole group in here. I think we might feel a little more comfortable um, just because last year some of, a lot of us had never played in a playoff game so there was more nerves there um, and knowing that we had to win the wild card game when we're done was added to it but now we just feel you know more confident um, a little more relaxed knowing that we've all kind of been through it before and we know what to expect and, and it's really not going to be anything new the fact that we could believe in ourselves man I, I'd say I'd say the fact that we played with each other before we played in the high situation games that uh, we played in playoff games so uh, this year I think our uh, we all have a common goal, and, uh, and uh, if we come here every single day with the same mindset, you know, we will achieve that goal. Confidence, just guys really coming into their own and coming out of their shells and, and expressing who they are on a daily basis. While the best team in baseball has been impressive since opening day, the ultimate goal of a World Series title remains the constant focus. Sure to have a say in the MVP and Cy Young races, the players in the clubhouse, both young and old, are most impressed with what they see from each other as a second consecutive postseason draws near. I think it starts with our pitching staff. They just have gone out all year and pretty, pretty much dominated and uh, well us position players just go out and play and we go out and play anyways regardless but uh, and then the group that we have here is just it's just an easy group to get along with and, and go play and one guy gets out of line we put him right back in it I feel a lot younger <laughs> when you're around these guys and um, you know I know they mess with me with the grandpa thing but uh, they, they, they keep me young and um, you know we try to try to treat them like you know they're they're veteran players because they're going out there and performing every day and uh, they need our support uh, whether we're on the bench or, or on the field and um, I think that's the sign of a good team everybody's treated equally and uh, yeah there's some rookie stuff that we do but for the most part when it comes down to, to work that day and being on the field everybody's the same and we're pulling for everybody and we need everybody to play well for us to have a chance to win. Our 12 days of Cubs coverage continues and tomorrow we take a look at social media and why it's the perfect outlet to profile the very marketable personalities of this year's team. We have more on bases loaded, but we sneak a peek at a familiar face, Alexei Ramirez at U.S. Cellular Field, taking on the White Sox as a member of the Tampa Bay Rays, and he saw somebody he recognized, Jose Quintana. Nice to see a reunion there. That game on 7 o'clock on CSN Plus. Sierra Santos and Bill Melton get you started with pregame live at 6.30. Stay with us. Is price important? You bet it is. Hello, I'm Dan Fields of the Fields Auto Group. It's the best price. You know it's the right price. A low price and a whole lot more, like our Fields amenities that include free loaners, free car washes, and our Fields cafes. Those other things are just perks, extras. It's not like it's built into the price. Exactly. A low price and Fields amenities at no additional charge. I got more car for the money. It's what we do. Fields matters because you matter. Pat Hughes reporting from Wrigleyville Sports, where the excitement is building. Devin and Colin are choosing caps from the enormous wall of hats. Check out that selection. Chris and Tony are sporting new home jerseys with the blue pinstripes, blue hats, and sleeves. Get these ball players some trousers. Katrina is eyeing a new sweatshirt. She wants to be ready for the postseason. Across the street from Wrigley Field, Wrigleyville Sports is your one-stop shop for everything Cubs. Open seven days a week or anytime at WrigleyvilleSports.com. How do you maximize your Sunday football experience? The DirecTV Red Zone Channel. We have a full day of football. With nonstop live coverage of all the action and none of the commercials. You want to get interactive? Get every score and then some all on one screen every Sunday. Ready for that? Including games next to games next to games. Even stream it on your favorite devices so you can watch your team on the big screen and everyone else on the other. Touchdown! The Red Zone Channel. This fall when you upgrade to NFL Sunday Ticket Max, Channel 703, only on DirecTV.
I'm Dan Fields of the Fields Auto Group. We've prepared a Joe Madden Signature Edition vehicle. It will be raffled off at the end of the season with the proceeds going to many of Joe's favorite charities. But not before I have the pleasure of driving it to and from the ballpark. Thank you, Dan, and everyone at Fields Auto Group for this special vehicle and for making this all possible. For official raffle rules and complete details on how you can win this Joe Madden Signature Vehicle, go to FieldsAuto.com. It is an honor for Fields Auto Group to help good causes like Cubs Charities and Misericordia. Fields matters because you matter. And here we go, folks. It's your favorite hot dog bun, mustard, and overpriced watered-down beer. Are you sure you want to eat all that? Because you already weigh more than your team's batting average. Let's just toast to our anniversary. Oh, no, it's corked. Let's just watch the game. I tweeted all of your friends to come over, but I guess no one showed up. That's okay. I invited one of your friends, too. Get out of here. Give a real anniversary gift this year. Escape to the Champagne Lodge in Willowbrook. Book your next special memory at the Champagne Lodge today. You know you deserve it. The baseball world is still mourning the loss of Jose Fernandez, and John Lester tweeted this before the game on Sunday, saying, I tend to stay off of Twitter on start days, but cannot believe the news about Jose Fernandez. The game and the world just lost a great one. And tonight, the Marlins were back on the field for the first time since the tragic loss of their brightest star. The organization paid tribute to Fernandez prior to tonight's game against the Mets. A 24-year-old was killed in a boating accident early yesterday morning. Every Miami player will wear number 16, his former number, tonight in honor of their fallen teammate. And Marlins owner Jeffrey Loria said the team will retire Fernandez's number 16 and no one will wear it after tonight. Thank you for watching Bases Loaded here on Comcast Sportsnet. Don't forget, Cap and Holly will have Cubs postgame live immediately following the game from Pittsburgh. Cubs and Pirates are next on Comcast Sportsnet. It's the fabric that brings an entire nation together. It says to the world, we will never lose faith. We believe in this team. Her generation, his generation, the next generation. Maybe this October, if we fly it high enough and loud enough and proud enough, well, you get the idea. This beer has conviction. For us, it's Rocky Mountain water or nothing. Coors Banquet, that's how it's done. Have a lot of friends? Well, then treat your friends like royalty with our Ashton sectional. All four pieces, only $12.99. Outstanding style with contrasting piping. Outstanding comfort with Bobopedic memory foam seating. And nine accent pillows. All four pieces, only $12.99. Or this way, only $7.99. Only at our Bob's Discount Furniture. Ah, this is the life, right, guys? It sure is. You're the best, little Bob. Official furniture store, the Chicago Bears. Ultra Deck Natural Composite Decking is low maintenance, durable, and easy to install. Reversible deck boards allow the option of two different textures. Right now, Ultra Deck Natural Reversible Composite Decking is just 99 cents a linear foot. Store trimmers, mowers, and more with Suncast Storage Buildings. The Tremont series is made of durable vinyl that's virtually maintenance free from roof to floor. An 8 by 10 foot model is only $899. Find this and more during Menards Made in the USA sale. Save big money at Menards. Play hard, party hard. That's what I tell my players. When it's time to celebrate, I shop at Benny's Beverage Depot. Benny's is the official champagne provider of the Chicago Cubs. And like I coach the guys, if you can't find it at Benny's, it's probably not worth drinking. Chicago is presented by State Farm. 
overcast night here in Pittsburgh as the Cubs open up their final road trip of the regular season. First of seven, four here, and then three in Cincinnati. And welcome to Cubs baseball here on CSN. Jim Deshays and Len Casper. What an exciting night last night as the Cubs beat the Cardinals to win that series two out of three. And the accomplishments are, are incredible this year. And we're going to list some of them. Very rare in Cubs history. Uh, yeah, they're now 43 games over 500. They're guaranteed to have the best record in baseball this year. They won 99 games the most since 1935. 97 plus wins for consecutive years uh, for the first time since a, a run back in the early 1900s and uh, they clinched the NL Central way back on September 15th the earliest in team history 12 and 3 this year against this pirate team they also have uh, the two top guys in the major leagues and earned run average John Lester won again last night Kyle Hendricks will start tonight he gets two more total as he tries to win an ERA title yeah, it's quite a battle isn't it uh, as these guys play anything you can do I can do better Lester brilliant again last night and we take a look at uh, Kyle Hendricks little snapshot going back to to June 19th, 16 starts, 11 and 2 with a 137 ERA. He's pitched twice against Pittsburgh this year. He's allowed just one run in those two starts. Right-hander Chad Cool will start for the Pirates. They have their backs against the wall. They're tied for fourth in the wild card, four and a half out with seven to go. So they really need to win out and get some help as well. And a tough matchup for their offense tonight as they battle the major league ERA leader. Kyle Hendricks tries to lead the Cubs to win number 100 next. Some things are simply impossible to ignore. The strikingly designed Lexus NX Turbo and Hybrid, the SUV that dares to go beyond utility. Lease the 2016 NX Turbo with zero duet signing for $419 a month for 36 months. See your Lexus dealer. I'm Dan Fields of the Fields Auto Group. We've prepared a Joe Madden Signature Edition vehicle. It will be raffled off at the end of the season with the proceeds going to many of Joe's favorite charities. But not before I have the pleasure of driving it to and from the ballpark. Thank you, Dan, and everyone at Fields Auto Group for this special vehicle and for making this all possible. For official raffle rules and complete details on how you can win this Joe Madden Signature vehicle, go to FieldsAuto.com. It is an honor for Fields Auto Group to help good causes like Cubs Charities and Misericordia. Fields matters because you matter. And here we go, folks. It's your favorite hot dog bun, mustard, and overpriced watered-down beer. Are you sure you want to eat all that? Because you already weigh more than your team's batting average. Let's just toast to our anniversary. Oh, no, it's corked. Let's just watch the game. I tweeted all of your friends to come over, but I guess no one showed up. That's okay. I invited one of your friends, too. It's out of here. Give a real anniversary gift this year. Escape to the Champagne Lodge in Willowbrook. Book your next special memory at the Champagne Lodge today. You know you deserve it. Fans, stay close to your boys in blue right here at CSNChicago.com. We're bringing you the top stories, team news, and video that you crave all in one place. Phenomenal coverage. And you can trust insider Patrick Mooney to bring you the very latest from the clubhouse. Then head over to the Pulse page and get your social on. Check out the standings, the schedule, stats, and gear up at the shop. It's all one click away. It's that easy. Cubs Baseball on CSN Chicago is brought to you in part by your Chicago area and Northwest Indiana Lexus dealer who invites you to test drive a Lexus today. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Illinois. Through it all. Ford, inviting you to check out their fuel-efficient lineup at your local Ford store or at localfordstores.com. And by Southwest Airlines. Transparency. Low fares. Nothing to hide. Welcome back to Pittsburgh and Chris Bryant. One of the most popular Cubs wherever we go and there is a lot of Cubs blue in the stands behind the first base dugout. Cubs wrapping up the regular season with a seven game trip here to Pittsburgh and to Cincinnati. We had a threat of rain earlier but looks like we're OK for now. It always seems like rain is a threat when we come to PNC Park and as I mentioned in the open the Pirates 
probably aren't going to make it unless something weird happens this week and we always kind of leave the door open because they are mathematically still alive but four and a half out with seven to go. This will be the first time they will have not made it if they fall short in four seasons. They've been in that wild card game each of the last three years losing to the Cubs in the wild card game here last year. So the updated wild card standings Mets one up on the Giants. Cardinals lost two of three in Chicago but they have a favorable schedule J.D. They're home all week. Yeah uh, they have struggled at home this year but certainly like their chances as they return home to play bottom of the division clubs final week of the season. Uh, that's kind of been the storyline with the Mets too, a soft schedule but uh, they were swept by the Braves in a series in their home ballpark. You never know it's it's a wacky game that way. And you never know how it's going to play out but uh, yeah the one thing I certainly agree with you on is that the likelihood that this Pittsburgh team is able to sneak in is what uh, point zero point three nine point two nine two percent a lot of points yeah they don't have a very good chance Cubs to try to put some points on the board tonight as we check in on their Southwest starting lineup against rookie right hander Chad cool Chris Coglin will be in the leadoff spot. Bryant Rizzo Contreras look at what Anthony has done this year against the Pirates Jason Hayward moving up he'll hit fifth tonight Addison Russell bat sixth Albert Almora Junior in center in the seven spot Javi Baez at second for Ben Zobrist and Kyle Hendricks will hit ninth. and the Pirates will uh, be deployed this way and it's brought to you by Arby's uh, you see no Marte no a Polanco in the outfield Frazier left McCutcheon center Josh Bell will play right tonight infield of Dunn Mercer Rodriguez uh, the utility man who can play just about anywhere on the field John Jason is the first baseman Francisco Cervelli is the catcher and the Lexus pursuing perfection starting pitcher is a rookie right hander um, by the name of Chad cool making his 13th start five and three with a three point seven three he's allowed two or fewer in seven of his last nine. And here we go as Chris Coglin takes a strike and the leadoff man is presented by Benny's Beverage Depot. If Coglin gets a hit in this plate appearance, Benny's will donate $100 to the Greater Chicago Food Depository. Quickly 0 and 2. Cool 24 years of age, 6'3, 215, out of the University of Delaware. Cubs have seen him a couple of times already this year. He goes uh, fastball, slider, change, likes his sinker more than his four seam fastball. 2 2 on Coglin in the leadoff spot for Dexter Fowler tonight. And guess what? What? It's cool tonight 65 degrees as we get underway it was, it was kind of warm and, and uh, humid earlier today um, there was some rain in the area it's taking some of the humidity out of the air he walked him after an 0-2 start <laughs> Joliet Illinois native Mark Carlson's behind the plate. Quinn Walcott is at first. Chris Guccione's at second. And the crew chief, Brian Gorman, will handle third. Chris Bryant with a man on, nobody out, just getting started. Bounced foul. Past third. Chris sitting on 99 RBIs. Did not knock in a run over the weekend against St. Louis. Tied for second in the National League in home runs. Nolan Arenado has 40. Chris tied with another Chris. Carter with 38. Broken bat, hop fly out into right center. Josh Bell will make the catch for the first down. Well, no luck this time for Bryant, but uh, he's been good in this ballpark. 413 batting average here at PNC Park, 26 out of 63. 
But this time he cracks his bat and he's out. The atmosphere is a little different in the ballpark here than it was in Chicago. And when we were last here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in early July. Kind of have gone into a move on mode here. Thoughts yeah. turning to Steeler football and, and the likes. Outside for a ball. Riz has done some damage in this big ballpark. Cubs have won 12 of 15 this year against the Pirates. So right there if you. If you look at the Pirates 3 and 12 mark against the Cubs if they had uh, squeaked out you know two or three more wins they'd be very mm -hmm. much in the wild card yeah. race. Pause by the right hander in the pitch. It's a strike. Bottom part of the zone. One and one. Pirates are a little banged up. Josh Harrison's season ended a couple of weeks ago. Groin injury, swing and a miss on a changeup. Some day to day injuries. Starling Marte, bothered recently by a back issue. Gregory Polanco with a facial contusion. And that'll get out of play off to the left. Well, when I say day to day, yeah. here in the final week of the season, that Almost means season ending. Line shot, fair ball, right field corner. Coglin on his way to third. Rizzo to second. He's got a double. Cubs in business. He chased that one change up this time they try to beat him with an inside fastball and he's just not going to let him in there. Some words for the boys as he heads down the first baseline. Anthony was 10 out of 32 on the homestand. So he continues to just clip along here. It's impressive, you know, the uh, the Cubs clinched and ended up losing that series to Milwaukee. Uh, you know, they kind of you, know, you would anticipate, expect the team to maybe back off the gas pedal a little bit for a couple of days. Joe had that meeting with his guy, said, "Hey, let's let's get back after it." And boom, they go out and they've won five out of six since. Swept the Reds, took two out of three from the Cardinals. Wilson Contreras. A couple of home runs this past week, including what uh, was the longest homer at Wrigley this season, Monday against the Reds, 461 feet. Landed on Waveland. He homered again on Saturday against St. Louis. One ball, no strikes. Infield back. Gung at third, maybe in a couple of steps. He could throw to the plate. I assume Coglin will go on contact. Well, certainly go anything in the middle of the diamond with the, the middle infielders back into the first base side. On the inside corner. One and one. This is a, an opportunity for Contreras to, to drive in a couple. You change your approach as the bat moves along. You get a couple of strikes on you. You go, okay, just shorten up, put it in play, make sure I get one home. And that 
that's you know that meeting a Madden had with his guys that's, that's what it was all about let's just you know refocus make sure we have good at bats respect the process just keep on playing until the final out and this team has done that all year really the the, the nadir of the season the, the bottom point was when we were last year right before the all star break the Cubs had dropped 15 of 20 they weren't losing a grip on their lead it had gotten down to about six and a half I believe over the Pirates but that was it that one bad three week stretch and as Contreras draws the walk and everything in on Contreras he doesn't bite Cool. He's got to deal with the bases loaded situation. But yeah, the Sunday game had they lost that game, I think they would have been five and a half out or five and a half up heading into the break. Um, which would have gotten, you know, I imagine Cup fans would have gotten a little nervous at that point. I don't know what the reaction in the clubhouse would have been. Probably not so much nervous. Jason Hayward with three on and one out. Now the Pirates would like to turn two. Going way off the line at third. And ball one. Yeah, cool throwing that two seam fastball, trying to induce a ground ball from Hayward. Lefty's batting 279 against the rookie. Cool right handed batters 211. He was six and three with a 237 ERA and 16 starts at Triple A. Uh, less heralded than a couple of their other big prospects, uh, Jamison Tyone, who we will see in this series, and Tyler Glass now, who we will not, but uh, Cools performed very well. And there's the breakdown. Against the Buckos this year, they've really dominated this series, this season series, and that's the case in just about every matchup for this Cubs team. One ball, one strike on Hayward. And a drive out into deep right center. It is going to be run down by Bell. Everybody tagging. Throw to second. Contreras is in. Coughlin scores. Sack fly. Jason Hayward. And the Cubs lead one to nothing. Chris Coughlin in the role of Dexter Fowler here tonight. It's kind of like when you go to a Broadway play and there's a stand in. Performing the role of leadoff man today will be Chris Coughlin. And people are disappointed. Oh man, the star's not, uh, it's not Fowler. But he, he got the job done. He did what Fowler does so often get on and score. Yeah, the understudy did exactly what the everyday star does got on base and scored. Addison Russell takes a strike. Hi Dexter. <laughs> Enjoying the night off as he cheers on his teammates. Oh one to Russell he is outside. One ball one strike second and third two outs Cubs lead one zip. Deep breath by Cool and the pitch he is off the plate inside. Tailing fastball two and one. It's kind of the uh, the narrative around the Pirates pitching staff the last um, few years. Um, pitch to contact. They don't get a lot of strikeouts. Ground ball pitchers for the most part, and and work hard inside. You're seeing it from Cool here tonight. Really committed to throwing that fastball in on the right-handed hitters. Tap foul behind the plate. Number 26 of the first inning and is on its way. Foul territory. Jaso looks like he's got room, and that will 
And the Cubs first, but they utilize a couple of walks, a Rizzo double, a Hayward sack fly, and they lead one to nothing. With more selection and savings, you get more happy faces. Admire. In banking and baseball, you have to stay alert. With my Bank of America mobile banking app, I can select alerts that notify me when unusual activity is detected on my credit and debit cards. I used to play when I was younger. I love the outfield. All that green grass. Until the championship and the uh, inside the park home run. Sure could have used an alert then. I missed lunch that day. Navigate everything Mother Nature dishes out with Toyota's wide range of SUVs with available all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. Have a big family? Adventure seeker. Want to go off-roading? Mother Nature is one tough lady. Toyota's all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive SUVs are tougher. Tested, trusted Toyota. Lease a new 2016 RAV4 with zero due at signing and zero first month's payment. Or get 0% APR for 60 months. Find yours at buyatoyota.com. Toyota. Let's go places. With more selection and savings, everyone gets more to cheer for at Meyer. Now the Pirates Southwest starting lineup written out by Clint Hurdle. They get on base a fair amount. John Jasil, the first baseman, will take his walks. Josh Bell, the rookie, is in right for Polanco. Andrew McCutcheon having a nice month of September. Always does well against the Cubs, it seems. Jung Ho Gung is playing third and cleaning up. Sean Rodriguez at second. Cervelli, the catcher. Adam Frazier in left. Jordy Mercer, the shortstop. And the pitcher, Chad Cool. Cubs defensively, and it's brought to you by Arby's. Big outfield to cover here. And my responsibility falls to the trio of Coglin, Almora Jr., and Hayward. Infield uh, figures to get a lot of work with uh, Hendricks on the mound. Bryant Russell, Baez, Rizzo, Contreras behind the plate. Lexus starting pitcher Kyle Hendricks. There's the first pitch of the ball game, and of course, it's strike one. It's always strike one, seemingly with Kyle Hendricks. 15 and 8 with a 206, making his 29th start. He has appeared once out of the bullpen. One and one on Jason. So Kyle starts tonight. And he'll also get the season finale in Cincinnati on Sunday. Ground ball to the second baseman, knocked down by Baez, and he's got time to recover. And you don't have that luxury when you're playing on the other side of second base, but no panic. One away. And Jaso, uh, an extreme ground ball hitter, so that's a fairly uh, predictable outcome, too. Hendricks on the mound, Jaso in the box, ball hit on the ground sharply. A little mishandle there by Baez. But recovers in time. Took it the long haired one. Switch hitting Josh Bell, who takes up a lot of that batter's box. Just three for his last 24, but what a start to his career in July against the Cubs. That big debut weekend. Didn't even start. It certainly made an impact. Pinch hit single off Jake Arrieta in his debut. Pinch hit grand slam the next night off Adam Warren. And then a pinch hit walk and a run against John Lackey. The last Cub to lead the majors in earned run average. Hank Barrowi, 1945. He had a 214. Yep. Bell singles in the left. And the Pirates have a base runner. A uh, pretty good approach against Kyle, especially for a left-handed hitter to think middle or other way. With that good changeup and sinker combination. Bell tries to pull that. Nothing good's going to happen for him. Now 
Nice hand for McCutcheon. And he takes a strike. A very emotional night tonight in Miami as uh, the Marlins are playing their first game since the tragic death of Jose Fernandez. Their game yesterday against the Braves was canceled. The entire team is wearing number 16, the Fernandez jersey. And after tonight, uh, the owner Jeffrey Loria announced no Marlin will ever wear number 16 again. And Dee Gordon against the Mets, Bartolo Colon just hit a leadoff home run. And I guess was uh, crying as he rounded the bases. Very, very emotional, bittersweet night for the Marlins. Swing and a miss by McCutcheon. It's one and two. and Pirates have the same record tied for fourth in the wild card race. It's been a tough year for McCutcheon but he's having a strong finish. 13 game hitting streak going having a nice month of September. But his night is not off to a good start. Kyle Hendricks making his third start against the Pirates this year. The, the previous two were outstanding. On August 30th he went seven shutout against Emil Lodge's three hits June 19th he struck out 12 didn't walk anybody in six innings of one run ball it established a career high for him in terms of strikeouts he matched that uh, against St. Louis back on August 13th but he had them in that particular game just flailing at that changeup. Contreras snaps a toss to first Bell he is back in time. It's good looking pitch. Maybe just off the corner a little bit. Contreras loves to throw to the bases. Yep, should have been a strike. Gung with a bouncer to Bryant. He'll take the short throw to Baez as the baseball world mourns the loss of 24 year old Jose Fernandez. Tomorrow night, MVP candidate Chris Bryant powers the playoff bound Cubs into a game two divisional battle with Josh Harrison in the Bucks. Cubs and Pirates, live tomorrow night at 6 on CSN Chicago. I'm seven time Pro Bowler Lance Briggs, and Tuesday nights just got a whole lot more interest. Tune in for my take on our Bears every week. Because no matter what happens, you know that I'm going to have something to say. Don't miss the Lance Briggs show tomorrow at 11 on CSN Chicago. actually have Xfinity, so weather isn't a problem. Don't get left behind with DirecTV. Xfinity gives you reliable TV service, rain or shine. Sign up today or get started with this great offer. Call or go online today. Ah! Pull up a chair. Pull up six chairs. My $5.99 dining sets come with six chairs. Not the usual four you get from the other guys. Go with the traditional styling of my Woodmark set. All seven pieces, only $5.99. The Matrix, transitional panache. Seven pieces, only $5.99. For my X Factor, casual pub height, table and six chairs, you guessed it, only $5.99. Need more space? Each table is expandable, big or small. Untouchable, only at my Bob's Discount Furniture. In Chicago, some things just go together, like front porches and blue W's, bricks and ivy, Waveland Avenue and souvenirs, Jake, and stay farm like home and auto insurance with stay farm they just go together and they save you time and money just another way we're here to help life go right talk to a state farm agent today underway in the second a call strike on albert al mora jr playing center tonight oh and two a reminder cubs baseball on csn chicago is presented by state farm
foul up along third. Joe Madden talking before the, the ball game uh, this afternoon uh, about his strategy going forward here, and he wants to give his guys some rest. At the same time, try to keep them sharp. So with Hendricks on the mound, a ground ball guy, thought it was a good idea to, as he said, to run out his varsity infield, but rest a couple of his outfielders. Twenty first major league start for Albert. Cool pulled that fastball off the outside edge. You mentioned he's Delaware native. From Middletown in Delaware swing and a miss on good slider at 86. Unforgettable games undeniable greatness and unstoppable drama. The 2016 postseason begins October 4th. Go to MLB.com slash postseason for a full schedule. It all starts October 4th. When will it end? 1 and 0 oh on Javier Baez. Make it one and one. Yeah, that's a little slider cutter combo pitch is a good one, especially against right-handed hitters. We noted this last time he pitched against the Cubs. He looks like the kind of guy that would benefit from a curveball as well. If he could flip up a little curve curveball, just change the look for the hitter from time to time. He beat Clayton Kershaw in his major league debut earlier this season. Pitched and played first base in high school. Here comes his one two and Baez stays alive. What a night last night. David Ross. Four. Standing ovations from the crowded Wrigley Field. Two curtain calls. One game winning home run. And that place was loud. And it's a regular season. It's a big Sunday night game against the Cardinals. But it felt a little bit like a dress rehearsal for October. Yeah, well, that's been the, the vibe at the ballpark all year long has been so good. So let's go back 24 hours. Our Xfinity high speed action. And I actually uh, think that that the whole David Ross weekend and fans very well aware that it was his uh, final home series in the regular season as a major league player. I think the video boards J.D. And, and the way the Cubs tactfully use them during games actually helped get the crowd into it because they had a couple of video montages you know before the game in honor of Ross they had a shot in the left field board of Ross kind of tearing up in the dugout they would have had standing ovations even if the boards didn't exist but my point is sure, if you're sitting yeah. at the ballpark and you look up at the board and you can see in the dugout you mm -hmm. can't really see in the dugout without that that board mm -hmm. and, and I think it just kind of elevated the entire thing. To two, Baez cranks one to left, and he pulled it. Wow, foul, but hit it about 450 feet. Rather Gary Sheffield like right there. It was. So while I'm not, you know, huge on. A lot of loud music and all kinds of weird light displays and the like. I, I do think that the video boards this weekend at Wrigley kind of elevated sure, the whole scene. Yeah. yeah. Kind of get a chance to get a close up of a guy reacting in a dugout. Well, and it just speaks to, uh, you know, the, the David Ross personality. Here's a, a guy, he's a, it's the second year with the team. He's a backup catcher. Um, 
but to be that popular because of the way he has handled himself and obviously the Cubs have done a lot of winning since he has joined this ball club and he's been an important piece but it's the narrative coming out of the clubhouse. Ooh, that one deflected off the pitcher cool right to the shortstop Mercer. So cool wins that long battle as Baez kept fouling off pitches. It was a 12 pitch at bat. And it'll go one to six to three. Let's see where it got him. Oof, the foot. Sounds like the shoe, yeah. A little kick save, a redirect, and Mercer there to handle the carom. That's a good at bat by Baez. Real good at bat. Didn't get the result he was looking for. He loosened his sho shoelaces with that line drive. So Kyle Hendricks takes ball one. The last come to lead the majors in ERA was Hank Barrow in 1945. Pretty decent chance a Cub will lead this year. Hendricks is the leader, but the guy right on his tail is John Lester. He has one more start. Two bounces to a backpedaling gung, and he makes the play. Cubs go down one, two, three, but I wouldn't say quietly. Baez gave Cool a nice battle. One nothing Cubs in the second. We're Southwest, and we have one word for you. Yes. Yes to low fares with nothing to hide. Yes to rewards you can actually use. How you like us now? In a world full of no, we're a plane full of yes. That's transparency. have Xfinity, so weather isn't a problem. Don't get left behind with DirecTV. Xfinity gives you reliable TV service, rain or shine. Sign up today or get started with this great offer. Call or go online today. The Honda Take Home a CRV sales event is here with incredible deals. Loaded with standard features like Pandora compatibility, a multi-angle rear view camera, and plenty of cargo space. It's no wonder the CRV was named at Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com Best Buy for 2016. Hurry into the Honda Take Home a CRV sales event and get a great deal today. Time now for greater coverage of baseball brought to you by T Mobile. Mets with a 17 0 win. Uh, over the Phillies to uh, grab the wild card lead, the, the Red Sox. Uh, they're pretty hot right now, huh? They've won 11 in a row. And the Dodgers clinched the National League West fourth consecutive season. They have won the West in what was Vin Scully's final home game as a team broadcaster. And here's the home run tonight from D. Gordon to lead off the bottom of the first. John Rodriguez takes a curve from Kyle Hendricks for a strike. Now what a moment. Everybody wearing the Fernandez jersey for the Marlins. On a bounce Baez. Good range will make the play. Saw some of the Marlins players up. Banging the top of the dugout rail there reminiscent of Jose Fernandez. Wow. 
one strike on Francisco Cervelli. Leads all major league catchers with a 372 on base average. Did not play yesterday, got hit on the wrist by a foul ball Saturday. Back in there tonight. Four days ago, he homered off Chase Anderson of the Brewers, his first home run since September 30th of last year. Went almost a calendar year between homers. And Cervelli strikes out. The changeup. That's the bread and butter for Kyle Hendricks. Yeah, and he'll manipulate that changeup. He'll cut it away from a right hander, but sometimes he'll play it straight and just run it in under their hands. But rarely will he leave it on the plate, especially in a you know, two strike or a deep count situation. Frazier playing left. Last five road starts, 4 0 with a 1.62 ERA. For the year, a break even record 6 and 6, 290 the road ERA. As I mentioned, much better of late. 3 0 on the rookie Frazier, appearing in his 61st game of the year. Kyle actually lost his last start, but was really good. Struck out nine Brewers in six innings, did not walk a man, allowed two runs, got beat. Uh, final score three to one in that ball game. He has not lost back to back starts since uh, June 7th and 13th. Back in at three and two on Frazier with Jordy Mercer on deck. The pitch. I'll try it again. Frazier, Mississippi State product. Slicing drive to left. Coglin will run out of room. Uh, Frazier, uh, in his minor league numbers, he's a guy who's hit for average, worked a good on base. Percentage, he'll take a walk. He's not hit for power. Another 3 2, and there's a little power as Hayward goes back don't you on the dare, warning track. Don't you dare make a liar out of me. <laughs> you were a little worried. Wow, yeah. We've completed two from the bird. Cubs one, Pirates nothing. This copyrighted telecast is presented by the authority of the Chicago Cubs and may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of the Chicago Cubs. I'm attorney Howard Ankin, legendary sportscaster Steve Stone. And I know the right team knows how to win, like Howard Ankin Law Office. If you or someone you know needs help with an injury case, I'm here to help. Please give me a call. Put Howard's number in your phone right now, 312-6 million. Play hard, party hard, that's what I tell my players. When it's time to celebrate, I shop at Benny's Beverage Depot. Benny's is the official champagne provider of the Chicago Cubs. And like I coach the guys, if you can't find it at Benny's, it's probably not worth drinking. This is Anthony Rizzo, all-star first baseman for the Chicago Cubs. When he's not playing baseball, he's reading about baseball. God, he's so good. When he's not reading about baseball, he's listening to baseball. When he's not listening to baseball, he's watching live baseball. Jonesy. Ooh, that's deep. Ooh. And when he's not watching live baseball, he's playing baseball. MLB.com at bat, the number one app for live baseball. This is the last place you'd expect us to talk about staying connected with state-of-the-art technology. Or wow you with a massive touchscreen. Then again, 
You probably didn't think you'd need your survival skills back on the road either. Jeep Cherokee, conquer all the world's most challenging places. Celebrating 75 years of the most awarded SUV lineup ever. Or get 20% off MSRP cash allowance for an average of 7,600 in savings on select Cherokee Trailhawk models and dealer stock. Welcome back. Ryan Sandberg's favorite restaurant in Chicago is the legendary Harry Carey's Italian Steakhouse. Go where Rhino goes for Chicago's best prime steaks in River North, Rosemont, or Lombard. Call 773 Holy Cow or visit HarryCarey's.com. Chris Coglin takes a strike. He walked to start the game and scored on the Hayward sacrifice fly. Carlson a little uh, generous off the outside edge there for Mr. Cool. Tough day for Chris yesterday. Former teammate of Jose Fernandez, Jorge Soler. Had known Fernandez since they were about 11 years old in Cuba. That is a fair ball. And Coglin is out two to three. Cervelli pounced on it. Pounced it. He kind of pounced on Coglin as well. Nothing's going to get in the way between a catcher and a fair ball, right? With a yep. batter yep. right there in the box. Get on that thing before it spins foul. Pass interference called. Slider strike called on Bryant. How about a home run here? Just get that 99th or the 100th RBI thing out of the way. Would love to hit a couple homers this week to get to 40, I'm sure. You know he's good for a couple in Cincinnati. You would think he's hit 10 against the Reds this year. Well, I mentioned the good work he's done here in this ballpark. He has not hit a home run here. Swing and a miss, strike three. Second strikeout for Mr. Cool. Plan your spring travel to Sloan Park in Mesa, Arizona with Cubs destinations. Spring training packages include game tickets. Hotel accommodations, rental car, Cub swag, and a private meet and greet with Cub players. Details available soon at cubs.com slash travel. Look out, oh my. That was a fastball. That not hit him? No, it didn't. Wow. Well, that's got everybody up the, on the rail in the Cubs dugout. We talked about the Pirates and oh how they my. pitch inside. How does it went, oh, it went over him? <sighs> that's that's scary. And any hitter will tell you, hey man, I know you got to pitch me inside, especially. The way Anthony crowds home play, but uh, it's next level when it's up around the head. And a line drive base hit. That's how you react, right? Ideally, send a rocket into the outfield on the next pitch. He's two for two. Telling John Jaso. I just saw my life flash before my eyes. It's a dangerous sport. Yeah, the psychology of it. We talk a lot about hitters and you know fastballs inside and how they react. It's always in the back of the hitter's mind. And after a pitch like that, it becomes you know, much more in the front of their mind, not only for the hitter in the box, but everybody in the dugout. And that's why there is value for pitching inside and why so many 
great pitchers over the, over the years have been you know, able to intimidate. That one gets by and Rizzo will jog to second. Side corner. It was all set up. John Lester had asked Joe Madden at some point if it fits, can you come out and take David Ross out of the game to get a big ovation? Joe agreed, picked the right spot in the seventh inning last night, and Wilson Contreras replaced him. One of a uh, symbolic passing of the baton, even though that was not the idea of it, but that was kind of the secondary point. And John will have a new catcher next year. It probably will be a combination of Contreras and Montero. I loved how Yadier Molina kind of helped David soak it all in last night. Catchers got to stick together, right? Yeah, I think he just understood and appreciated the, the moment, so he took a little time and, and allowed that to happen. Full count on Contreras. And Cervelli. A quick word with Cool. I mentioned earlier this this uh, uh, the run that Cool's on, allowing two or fewer in seven of nine. He hasn't pitched deep into a lot of games. Pitch count has been an issue. And, you know, a young guy, they're not going to overextend him. Uh, he pitched six innings in each, each of his last two starts. Pitched six and a third back on August 25th, but. That's the most he's gone in a ball game. Two out RBI chance for Contreras. Let's see if they go right at him here with a base open. They do, and that was a changeup and a good one. And Cool strikes him out. But strand a man at second. They lead one nothing in the third. Good or better? The Hyundai Elantra versus the Honda Civic. The Elantra has an available hands-free smart trunk. The Civic doesn't. Hyundai was named number one in customer loyalty seven years in a row. Excuse me, anyone? And only one is backed by America's best warranty. What is that? Better is the reason to buy Hyundai. And this is the reason to buy now. Lease the Elantra for a limited time for only $139 a month. Visit buyhyundai.com. It's Peyton on Sunday morning. E-Man. What up, Peyton? You know I have direct TV NFL Sunday ticket. I get every game, every Sunday, all in HD. Uh, yeah, I know that. So you want to come over? I'll make nachos. I can't right now, man. I'm playing. All right. That's the end for Tuesday. Get NFL Sunday ticket only on direct TV and watch live football anywhere. Switch today and get a $100 reward card. Listen up. This is the time, this is the place. And this is Ford F-150, the truck that goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with your life. Made of high-strength, military-grade aluminum alloy that pulled the highest safety rating the government can give. And with pro trailer backup assist, it's like having your head on a swivel now. So load up your crew. This is the time. Now, during Truck Month, get 0% financing for 72 months on a built Ford Tough F-150 or Super Duty. See your local Ford dealer today. To gear up for a Cubs playoff run, CSN has a gift for you. It's the 12 Days of Cubs, a collection of behind-the-scenes stories on your favorite club. Every night on Sportsnet Central, sponsored by State Farm. Tomorrow night, 
join uh, former Bears linebacker Lance Briggs as he shares his thoughts on last night's setback in Dallas as well as a look ahead to Sunday's matchup against Detroit all of that and more on the Lance Briggs show tomorrow at 11 on CSN. I think it's really cool that the guy who hosts the Lance Briggs show is named Lance Briggs. What are the chances? <laughs> Jordy Mercer takes a strike 88 on the fastball. Dependable shortstop. I guess uh, Clint Hurdle kind of hinted today in his pregame session that the beat writers at Jung Ho Gong may get a little time at short next year. He played some short last year and then. Had that knee injury in September has only played third this season. And while this will likely go down as a disappointing season for the Pirates and their fans, I, I think they're going to feel like they've got a shot to be right back in it next year. Young core. Hendricks kind of let that one go. Smart play is Russell. Gets Mercer. Hendricks probably couldn't get it anyway, but why deflect it, right? Yeah, Your shortstop's uh, going to get uh, it. Uh, maybe it was last year, maybe the year before. There was a play like that, and he tried to glove it, knocked it down, and went for a base hit. And he said, "Well, I'll learn from that. I won't do it again." And he's very good about reading balls off the bat like that. As was the guy he's always compared to, Greg Maddox. Maddox was a tremendous defender, but one of the things he did really well was let the ball go on certain comebackers. Nice piece by Barry Rosner in the Daily Herald. He chatted with Greg Maddox, who has watched Kyle Hendricks pitch this year, and he enjoys watching him throw. That's not terribly surprising, is it? No, I think anybody that's ever pitched enjoys watching Hendricks pitch. Um, because he's so cerebral and has such good command and can really work over an opposing lineup. And he just gave up a base hit. Him. Maybe. Throw to first. Safe. Cool. Singles to right. It was close. That is his second major league hit. Now Hayward was very shallow. The ball was sharply hit. But uh, I put the 9 3 put out in play, but Poole was uh, kind of aware of the situation and pushed hard down the line to beat it out. Jay so grounded out his first time up. And he looks at ball one outside. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm with you. I think the Pirates are, are, are in pretty good shape. Uh, young core position players, talented young starting rotation. Neil Huntington, their general manager, kind of kept his powder dry this year in terms of making any real significant moves to try to upgrade the team during the season. I think they viewed this as a transition year with, yeah, if everything breaks right for us, we could be right there again. Hi, Johnny. But, uh, I think he's very bullish on their future. Two and one on the veteran Jaso. The pitch. That's lined in the right center. Cool on his way to third. Throw to second. Jaso slides in with a double. And the Pirates have their biggest threat tonight. Second and third with only one out. Second and third and a pretty good hitter in Bell coming up who singled to left last time he was in the batter's box. This one catches a good chunk of home plate and Jaso jumps all over it. Bryant even with a bag. Everybody else in about halfway. 
No need to play all the way in with a pitcher third bell. Takes a curve just on the outside for a strike. Now this is where Kyle will try to prey on the aggressive nature of a hitter here with a couple men in scoring position. So we have an extra second here. Rizzo really hugs the plate. Josh Bell is the opposite. He might stand as far away from the plate as any hitter in baseball. When you pitched, what what did that different look tell you? About a hitter when a guy well, standing just, when just a guy, when a guy's far off, far off, you know he's got to kind of close to cover the outside part of the plate. So um, you, know, you always thought that you, you wanted to take a shot inside to prevent him from diving to make him less comfortable when he goes out to try to cover the outside part of the plate. Go to third. Pool is back. Looked like now, a pre-planned play. Yeah, and the other part of it with Kyle, he, he he has such good command. You could see where his thinking might be. Well, I'm just going to run sinkers and changeups off the outside corner, really force him to to have to reach to get to that pitch. Look at that front foot. The heel is basically out of the box away from home plate. Yeah and the one thing extreme stance is whether it was way off the plate way up in the box real close to the plate they, they just kind of freaked me out a little bit because <laughs> it's so different than everybody else and you're thinking well what does this guy know that nobody else knows. Swing and a miss. Change up. Uh, you see, he's he, he's uh, adopting Plan B there, not worrying about trying to trying to crowd him. He's just staying away, throwing that dart to the outside corner, whether it's the sinker or the changeup or the backdoor curveball. So you know, he can give you a lot of different looks in the same part of the strike zone. Back to the pitcher with the runners holding. Hendricks will get Bell. Big second out. And now he's got to deal with McCutcheon, although he does have first base open. I would imagine if. You're the home plate umpire Mark Carlson you feel a little naked back there when the batter's so far away from the plate. So McCutcheon in the opposite batter's box but you see how much closer he is to the dish. Nice knocked down by Contreras. He's hit 24 home runs this year, driven in 75. As I mentioned, it's been an off year for him, but as that graphic indicated, much better here of late. He was given three games off to start August Just to hit the re reset button. He was hitting 241 at the time. 49 games since 296 for the slash line. 296, 395, 505. That sounds like Andrew That's more McCutcheon. like it, right? Yeah. yeah. In the air to center. It's Almora to end the inning. So Hendricks works around some trouble and still has a 1 0 lead after three. When you were eight, you wanted to fly. When you were 13, to be a rock star. At 20, an artist. All these years later, you realize you had it right the first time. The 2016 Q50 from Infinity. Lease the all-wheel drive Infinity Q50 2-liter turbo for $319 a month or finance at 0% APR at your Chicagoland Infinity retailer. This is the fabric 
that brings an entire nation together. It says to the world, we will never lose faith. We believe in this team. Her generation, his generation, the next generation. Maybe this October, if we fly it high enough and loud enough and proud enough, well, you get the idea. Did you just see that? That was awesome. We have to try it. Okay. Okay, mine's not working. Maybe you have to bump it. Oh, yeah, do the bump it thing. Right. Okay. Yeah. You can take money out using the BMO Harris app. You want to buy a hairless cat? There's a pet store down the street. Cool. I think she said BMO Harris app. Yeah, that makes more sense. When your phone is your debit card, that's the BMO effect. BMO Harris Bank, we're here to help. Your Cubs are chasing history, and CSN is complete postseason coverage. Before every playoff game, get ready with Cap and Holly on Cubs pregame live. Then flip back after the final out for clubhouse reaction and more on Cubs postgame live. Only on CSN Chicago. Hey, we're back. It's a lovely night here in Pittsburgh. Don't miss your chance to watch October baseball from the all-inclusive unique atmosphere of the rooftops across from Wrigley Field. Limited playoff tickets are available now by calling 773-248-ROOF or by visiting WrigleyRooftops.com. Always great to have you with us. Final week of the regular season. The next Cubs win will be number 100. Be their first 100 win season since 1935. The Cubs have won 100 games five different times, but they were all between 1906 and 1935. Pretty much chronological order descending from 1906, but Going to try to mess that up here in 2016. I think 104 is attainable, right? Sure, Five and two. Uh -huh. And if you can get six out of seven, you could have the third highest win total in franchise history. Jason Hayward takes a strike. Yeah, 100 wins is, is a, a kind of a, a special number. Really marks you as as a great team. Um, that just doesn't happen all that often. Hayward hit a sack fly in the first. Rips this one foul to right. If you go back over the last month. The results have swung like a pendulum for Hayward. He had a 10 game stretch during which he hit 333. Then seven games 0 for 23. Hit 429. Over a six game stretch early on that last homestand and. His last three games one for 10. Three two on the ground in the center and that's a base hit. I'm having a nice night here tonight. RBI sack fly first time. Lead off knock here in the fourth. Yeah, the final week of the season. Um, it kind of feels like the last week of school. You know, won't be any tests. You know. Hey, can we watch a movie? Can we put on a video? Have extra recess. Because in some ways, playing for a Joe Madden team, that's 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 the vibe all year long. The Cubs will have four consecutive off days, almost a second All-Star break before the Division Series starts. The other thing and uh, don't take credit for this somebody pointed it out I think it was Mark Gonzalez 
with the Cubs now having home field you know, throughout the NL playoffs. They'll only have to make one road trip per series. If they get past the division series as Hayward moves to second on a wild pitch. Uh, they would have to go on the road for games three and four of the division series and three four five in the NLCS. Right last year had to come to Pittsburgh then went to St. Louis. Uh -huh. Yeah. Then unfortunately didn't go back to New York twice but. Does streamline things a little bit in terms of travel. I think that got him. It did. Yeah. I think that was a, a slide ball that got away from him a little bit. Whereas he threw that up and in fastball on Rizzo. This was a, a slider that was supposed to be running away from uh, Russell. You see where Savelli sets his mitt and he just never finished the pitch. So a chance to extend the lead here first and second nobody out for Almora uh, yet to be determined who will have the home field advantage in the other division series the Nationals 91 and 64 the Dodgers are 90 and 66. Be a tough one to handicap. And that should be a very good series. Since uh, we last talked to you, the Texas Rangers clinched the American League West. Bunted, past cool. Gong will pick it up. Nowhere to throw it. There was nobody covering first base. Almora Jr. with a bunt base hit, and the Cubs have him loaded with nobody out. Well, he catches everybody by surprise here. Uh, Rodriguez playing a double play depth. No chance he's going to get to first base in time. Jaso breaks in as he sees Almora show bunt. Great read by Almora and a really nice bunt. So it's Baez. Pirates at double play depth. I'm trying to avoid a big inning. So the other thing about you know home field advantage throughout best record in the league everything kind of set up. Extra rest. You got to go out and you got to win. You don't get a buy into the NLCS just because you have potential home field advantage. You got to win the division yeah. series. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's the scary part. That's the nature of the postseason. Anything can happen. And I'm sure fans have, have read the article, seen the numbers. <laughs> it's, it's a scary proposition. Um, and you know the, the rest can be a good thing. It can also work against you. Be, you know this is a game where you get into the rhythm and the flow of the season of playing every day, and all of a sudden you you shut it down for four days. Baez into the left field corner. Gone. That's a grand slam for Baez. A rocket into the seats and left. I had that good long at bat last time up and this time it happens in a hurry one swing of the bat line drive home run into the left field corner second grand slam of his career 14 home run on the season and just like that the Cubs with a very comfortable lead second of his career our Ford home run replay and it got out in a major hurry. Kyle Hendricks rolls in the left. Single hit batter, single grand slam, single to start this fourth inning. The, uh, the home run coming on a low two pitch. And uh, it reminded me of the, of the home run Rizzo hit in the St. Louis off Carlos Martinez on 0 2, where he got a little quieter with the lower body, but still the ability to generate that bad speed. Same thing with Baez. 
little quieter with that front foot. But still an explosive swing of the bat. And that's, that's one of those things where after the fact the hitter will tell him yeah I don't need you know the big swing I don't need the big leg kick. I like by is strong enough can generate enough bat speed. He has the ability to cut down on his swing and still do damage. Ray Searage a pitching coach out to the mound. Cubs have now hit five grand slams this season. And a five nothing lead for the majors earned run average leader who's now standing at first base. Chad Poole is uh, I'm going to have fond memories of Javi Baez. Baez whacked a comebacker off of his foot and then hit a grand slam off of him. I'm not sure which one was more painful for Cool. Short lead by Hendricks. The pitch to Coglin is too low. Still nobody out. Cool's uh, done some nice work for the Pirates here in his rookie season, making his 13th start, but he has not had success against the Cubs. This is his third start against them, and they've had his number. Two starts combined prior to this one, he had allowed seven earned runs in seven and a third innings. Two and one. Hey, we'd like to welcome all our viewers watching on Light Stream in Pulaski and Fulton counties in the great state of Indiana. And all of us at Comcast Sportsnet would like to send our support to our friends and viewers in many parts of Iowa who have been affected by the massive flooding. Which has unfortunately led to thousands of home and business evacuations over the past few days. We're by your side and thinking of you and to support people affected by disasters like the flooding in north and eastern Iowa. As there's a ball rolled into right for a base hit. We ask that you go to redcross.org, call 1 800 Red Cross, or text Red Cross to 90999. Fifth hit of the inning. RBI chance for Bryant. Come on. Cubs looking for their 100th win. He's looking for his 100th RBI. You see some symmetry there. It's all coming together. It's like David Ross homering last night. Number of pitchers in the National League and some in the American League too who will think back on their season performance and go, man, man, I had a lot of good starts, but I had my worst start against that Cubs team. It just wore me out. To left for a base hit, Hendricks will be held. <laughs> Got to have the pitcher <laughs> at second. <laughs> As you see, Ben Zobrist and his teammates are yeah. laughing a little bit. They know he's pressing, he's pushing for it. Uh, if Gary Jones thought there was any chance at all, he probably would have sent Kyle there. But the last thing you want to do is send your uh, your pitcher into harm's way in a potential collision at home plate. 
No uh, way out. They pronounce it Pulaski, I guess, uh, in Indiana. Uh, Pulaski. So, uh, apologies. Bases loaded, nobody out. Cubs already leading 5 0, and we'll be back in a moment. Value City Furniture presents How to Manage All That Stuff. Step one Acquire stuff. A little more and. Where'd my bed go? Next, consider getting rid of the aforementioned stuff. No. Thought so. Now go to Value City Furniture and buy a new storage bed. You'll save money and space without having to get rid of any stuff. Oh, nice. Perfect. And that's how to buy the perfect piece at Value City Furniture. Now I can get more stuff. A well-put-together man is said to be sharp. At GMC, we get why people appreciate that kind of precision. After all, precision is the kind of sharp that slices through a crowd. This is the precision of professional grade. It's the GMC 2016 model year sell down. Now get 20% below MSRP on select Sierra 1500 models in stock. That's over $10,300 on this Sierra SLT crew. It's the fabric that brings an entire nation together. It says to the world, we will never lose faith. We believe in this team. Her generation, his generation, the next generation. Maybe this October, if we fly it high enough and loud enough and proud enough, well, you get the idea. Let's take a look at uh, Javi Baez on the right. You see that the near miss home run, he pulled the ball foul first time up on the left. The home run, the two strike swing, and just a little subtle difference. You see the leg kick on the right, the two strikes. He doesn't need there, doesn't use the big leg kick, doesn't need it. Still delivers a powerful swing and gets the jog around the bases. The anchor man on the four by 90 feet relay. And it is a Hyundai call to the pin. 30 year old left hander Zach Phillips just turned 35 days ago. And he'll face a bases loaded, no out situation, and the Cubs already have a grand slam this inning. The uh, left hander has seen big league time with the Orioles and Marlins in the past. This little run here with the Pirates is first big league time since 2013. Breaking ball strike. Hey, happy 52nd birthday. Abe Martinez, Cubs bench coach. We wished him a happy birthday on the bus ride from the airport at about 3 o'clock this morning. Fastball missed away. How old is Davey? 52, you said? He's very young, young looking 52, isn't yeah. he? Uh, Davey had a very successful, long major league playing career. One day he'll get his chance to manage, yep. you'd have to believe. Rizzo strikes out. I got a tick. I got a tick. I heard it up here. I heard something else. You gotta yell a little louder. Contreras has walked and struck out. I wonder the last time a major league player has used the term tick. <laughs> Yeah, I used to use that a lot. Yeah, and yeah, as a kid, you know, they, I, I took that. I, yeah, but you don't hear that. The big, I, I got a piece of that one. He's in the catbird seat now, two and zero oh with the bases loaded. Maybe he'll dial eight. 
I wonder if you drop that on some of the young players if they would have any idea what you were talking about. Three and zero. Oh. Because you used to have to dial eight to get long distance on a hotel phone. But nobody uses a hotel phone anymore other than call from room service. Call the bellman. Swinging 3 0, and he's going to hit into a 6 4 3 double play. Mm. Well, Javier Baez, bases loaded, no outs, hit a rope into the seats and left, and the Cubs lead 5 0 in the fourth. Southwest, and we have one word for you. Yes. Yes to low fares with nothing to hide. Yes to rewards you can actually use. How you like us now? In a world full of no, we're a plane full of yes. That's transparency. Play hard, party hard. That's what I tell my players. When it's time to celebrate, I shop at Benny's Beverage Depot. Benny's is the official champagne provider of the Chicago Cubs. And like I coach the guys, if you can't find it at Benny's, it's probably not worth drinking. Comparing midsize sedans? Here's what puts the Kia Optima ahead of the Nissan Altima. The Kia Optima has an available surround view monitor and turbo engine. The Nissan Altima does not. The 2016 Kia Optima is a KBB.com Best Buy award winner. The Nissan Altima came up short there, too. Discover the next generation Optima. It's not your average midsize sedan. Hurry in during Kia's fall savings time and lease the Optima LX for $179 a month or get 0% financing. Closed captioning of Cubs baseball on Comcast Sportsnet is brought to you by U.S. Waterproofing. A little seepage in your basement is no need to panic. Count on the experts at U.S. Waterproofing to diagnose and repair the problem. For a free consultation, visit uswaterproofing.com. A better basement starts with us. Yesterday, tempers flared in a very colorful day with the Pirates wearing the throwbacks. A uh, little fake tag as Jung Ho Gung deked Bryce Harper, who injured his thumb. AJ Cole then buzzed the tower of Gung the next time he came up. Cole got tossed, and whenever the bench is clear involving the Pirates, Sean Rodriguez, just based on reputation alone, I think, gets ejected. Yeah, he had double team. He's like J.J. Watt. You've got to double team him. <laughs> <laughs> Keep him off the quarterback. Yeah, so he had the fake tag followed by the purpose pitch. And it got ugly. Well, it was an awkward landing by Harper, no doubt. But, you know, the idea of kind of the deking a runner, that that that's pretty common in this game. And Yeah, that's kind of the, it was a, you know, most guys they deke when they're they're about to receive the ball. And they act as if they're not going to, and then they'll, they'll you know, react late. Uh, in this instance, the throw wasn't coming. Toward the middle, Russell's got it. Out at first. Oh, what a play by Russell. Well, add that to the montage, the highlight reel of Addison Russell. Another spectacular play. It's the ability to get up that quickly after leaving his feet. How does he just do that? Yeah. Uh, and then remarkable. make an accurate throw. Fastball strike on yep. Rodriguez. It's the end of that play. Bang, bang. But they got him. Two Rodriguez okay. has been hot as of late at the plate, and his temper was hot yesterday. But Gong really lunged to first base. It's always dangerous. What about tweaking an ankle? Diving attempt by Bryant. Instead, it'll be Russell, and this time the throw eludes Rizzo. That'll likely be a base hit. Been something to follow up the previous play 
with one in the hole and we've seen him make that play. Might have lost my voice calling that one if he had made that play too. I just had a little difficulty setting his feet there and he ran out of time so he just slung it across the diamond. Cervelli with a man on one out. Cubs lead 5 nothing here in the fourth. Seventy four on the curve. And a strike. Fairly common to see Kyle start to work in more curves as he gets deeper into the game. Give the hitters a different look. That's been the, a big part of the difference between Kyle last year and this is his ability to go through the lineup the third time effectively. Looking at the numbers on Kyle earlier today batting average against first time through the batting order 204 second time through 203 third time through 204 so very consistent very hard to hit even when they get additional looks at him last year third time through they batted 329 against him. I almost wonder the more times guys see Hendricks. You know the adage is if a hitter gets a lot of looks as you're referencing they should be able to gain an advantage but Kyle stays out of patterns and has so many weapons to use. He yeah. might get the hitters to think too much. Yeah, he talked about it uh, after his last start he said you know throwing the four seam fastball a little bit more this year than last. I think it's just you know learning the hitters understanding what their strengths and weaknesses are and trusting his own game plan. Cervelli has struck out both times and now it's Frazier. And Kyle began the year as the Cubs number five starter and it is very possible he could get the ball in game two of the division series ahead of Jake Arietta.